Hey guys, I just wanted to create a really short and sweet video here on the Toro PowerMax 724OE. Uh, this will likely apply to other, uh, quite a few other Toro snowblowers um, that have the Briggs & Stratton motors. Um, so maybe this is, this is more for Briggs & Stratton motors in particular for snowblowers. Um, this is a 205cc, nine horsepower. Um, or is that nine foot pounds of uh, gross torque, I guess, so maybe not horsepower. Anyway, um, if you're like me, you like to do a lot of repairs yourself, um, do your own maintenance and things like that. Underneath this cover is gonna be your spark plug. Um, so if you need access to get to your spark plug or if you wanna clean your carburetor because maybe it's starting to run a little rough, uh, whatever it might be. Um, a friend of mine had uh, needed some, some work done on this, so um, I, I offered to take it on. The issue that I had is trying to remove this right it's it's very difficult you can grab and pull it doesn't really come off you can try to pry underneath there and you get to a point where you start to worry if you're going to break it um all the other videos that i've watched i watched some guy be able to grab it like this somehow it made a little clicking noise and he popped it right off i can't figure out what he did so what i ultimately did to be able to remove the cover i just took a pair of robo grips i don't know if you guys have ever seen these before you could just use regular pliers but these are really really nice um anyway just grip it in lift. That's it. That's all there is to it. So if you've been <laughs> anything like me, you know, fighting to try to get this thing off, you know, that's that's the simplest way to do it. Once you have it off, right there's your spark plug. You can pull the, the wire off of there. Um, you'll want to remove this, this bottom cover, which is uh, just these two bolts. If you want to get access to the carb, um, if you want to clean the jets, it's, you know, there, there's basically just two jets in the middle. You just take the um, the bolt to, for the bowl off, which that's one of the jets. And then inside there, you need a flat blade um, to get the other jet off. So once you get those, soak them in some carb cleaner overnight. Um, your, your machine will run a lot better. That's really all you have to do for the most part. Um, if you need to get a little further into it, you know, just a couple of screws, remove these, uh, these pieces up here and you should be able to then take the carb off. You're gonna wanna remove this intake screen, which also be mindful the intake screen, if it's not on, doesn't seem to run quite the way that it's supposed to. So um, if you're doing any testing after any repairs, after cleaning the carb, make sure this is back on before you try to test it. Otherwise you might get some odd results. It, it may not run well when it's um, when you have the choke turned all the way off. This does seem to provide a little bit of restriction that they've accounted for um, in, in how they tune the carb to begin with. So. Um, that's it. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to somebody. Uh, like I said, you know, my only issue was trying to figure out how to get this off carefully without breaking anything. Um, you know, if you use regular pliers, you'll probably get, you know, you'll probably end up dinging this up a little bit further, but obviously it's, it's not big, not a big deal. It's just, you know, aesthetics, right? Just cosmetics. So, um, hopefully that helps. Have a good day.